All right, folks, every once in a while here on the big show, we sneak in a little recipe featuring spaghetti squash. No fat, low calorie, very healthy, but have you tried it yet? Well, maybe today should be the day. Fletch is back. Helen Fletcher, the ardent cook, here to share her recipe for spaghetti squash. Wait a minute. Wait for it. Casserole. Yes, and it's easy. Welcome and back I, here, by the way. Thank you, thank you, thank Good you. And you. I don't think it's one of those things hit with higher prices. I love spaghetti squash. I think some people may be a little freaked out by it because of the of the way it comes out and think that it takes some kind of special uh, preparation. Nope. But talk about that. All you do is you bake it for an hour, and that's it. Whole. Easy. Don't try to right, cut right, it because right, right. it's really hard to cut. You bake it for an hour, and then watch Kent while he. Watch me. Watch. Watch and this me. Is <laughs> Watch again. And see? See? It comes out like spaghetti. It's, and it does right. it on its own. You don't have to have nope. any special tools. The There's fork isn't nothing. doing it. Even if I pulled this out with my fingers, it would still come yep. out like this. Yep, 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 yep. So it's easy. It's easy. Take the intimidation factor out of it because and it's And that's easy. all there is to it. And they call it butternut because it has a buttery texture. No, 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 no. Butternut is a different squash. Oh, what is I'm spaghetti. That's right. Yes. But, it, but it still has <laughs> yeah. that taste. It does. It, it has well, that buttery. I'm going to take this now. Yeah, it still tastes like squash. That's the important thing, okay? And so what you're going to do is you're going to take your spaghetti squash. Uh, you're, go <laughs> you're going to add petite diced tomatoes. Okay. Okay? You're going to add fresh basil. Okay. And you're going to add salt and pepper, which I forgot. Okay, yes, thank you very much. You're going to take your casserole. Dish. Oh, yes, your casserole dish, and you're going to put this on the bottom. Okay. Okay. And you just spread it out. So, so far, it's, it's really easy. I, I mean, know. you bake oh, the squash, you put in some. Okay, now I you think also. Ridiculous is pushing it a little bit. Well, it squash. is ridiculous. It's good. Okay, now you have Italian sausage, and you can leave this out for a vegetarian dish, but this has Italian sausage in it that you've already cooked off. Then you're going to layer cheese, provolone cheese, on top mm. of that. Aren't oh, we doing good? Man, this sounds good. I know. Now, wait. Here's the kicker. You haven't had anything in there yet that I don't like. No. Now, here's the kicker. You're going to take... You know how you have those tomatoes that have that marvelous crumb topping on them? Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. That's what you're doing. You're going to top this with the tomatoes. All right? Yeah. All the tomatoes go in here. Then you take your crumbs. Are these your, like Italian? Yeah. No, these are just plain dried bread crumbs. Okay. Asiago or Parmesan. Oregano, basil, a little that bit fresh of garlic. Parmesan, cut. It's not because uh, it looks like it's a little. It's oh, not this powdered. is Asiago. Asi oh, okay. This is Asiago. I'm sorry, it's either Parmesan or Asiago. Okay. okay. Now the important thing here is to take a little oil and wet the crumbs, or they won't get pretty and brown. Listen to me when I talk to you. We're Wet your crumbs. <laughs> I can't overemphasize the importance first you were of making, wetting your crumbs. First you were making fun of my warm squash. Now you're, <laughs> ma now you're making fun I of my crumbs. I was admiring your yes, warm sir. squash. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't making fun of it. It was a fine line. <laughs> All right. Then you just dump this on top. Yes. And you bake it for 30 minutes. That's it? Now you can make this even ahead of time. It's on my shoe. I'm sorry. And then you... Get your shoe out of the way. And then... <laughs> And then you can also make this ahead of time, put it in the refrigerator, and bake it off. Oh, yeah. Day. So how long do you bake okay. it? 30 minutes, 40 minutes. Probably 40 minutes. Now, remember that when you're talking prep time, that's 40 minutes on top of the hour that you had for the squash. So you, oh, yeah. You know, so it's maybe but an hour and a half. But you can also go and hot. do... And you can also go and do something else. <laughs> oh, you're so funny. You can also Ooh, do something else. That's so hot. Oh. What? That's good. Can you use a different type of cheese other than provolone? Yes. Use whatever you want. No, you can't. Can you use ground beef instead of sausage? Yes. No. Okay. Will you be quiet? It's my recipe. I'm just thinking about uh, what I have at home right now so I can make it no, tonight. No, you can do it with ground beef. Okay. You can do it with any cheese you want. Mix and match. Okay. Mix and match. Hot. It's so hot. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Run right out of the oven. But isn't it good? It's very good. Yeah. And how easy is it? Huh? It's really good. I know. That's all there is I to really it. like that. I and mean, I like all your stuff, but that's really good. Thank you. Try this one. Easy. Takes a little time, but not busy time. No, because once you put the squash in, you can brown your meat and then go do something else. Yeah. All right, That's thank it. you. You're Appreciate welcome. Appreciate it. All right, you can find a link to Helen's blog and this recipe. Where else? Great Day St. Louis. And dot com. Dot com. <laughs> Virginia. Thank you. 
If Hella made it, you know it's easy and you know it's really good. Mm -hmm. well, looking for the perfect Valentine's Day gift? We have an amazing idea. And we know how you can get it for half price. How about treating your sweetie to a weekend of relaxation and indulgence at the Lodge of Four Seasons at the Lake of the Ozarks? With our Great Day deal, you can save 50% on a luxury stay. So, for just $199, you will receive a one night stay in a luxury condo at the residences of the lodge. The suite has a king bed, whirlpool bath, fireplace, full kitchen, and three flat screen televisions. The deal includes a $50 credit at HK's restaurant, two $25 spa shiki vouchers, champagne, chocolates, and free breakfast. And that is not all. You can also save 50% on golf at the Cove Golf Course. This offer is good through March 19th. Remember all that I just said. You pay just $199 for this great day deal. This package would normally cost $399, but it's $199. Just click on the banner at the top of GreatDayStLouis.com to get in on this deal, and you better act fast because these ones blow out super fast. Coming up on Great Day St. Louis, if you or someone you know has a child with ADHD, you know what a struggle it can be. And up next, the doctors at St. Louis Neurotherapy will show us how neurofeedback may help keep your child off medication. Plus, we've all been there, that dreaded moment when you're driving and all of a sudden there's sirens behind you. Or sirens. <laughs> Andy Crouppen from Brown and Crouppen is here with his advice on what to do and stay during a traffic stop and what to do if you get a ticket. You don't want to miss that coming up.